Now, let me say this to you. Relationships and marriages don't struggle because God intended for them to struggle. They struggle to the degree to which the vitals are missing. That's why it doesn't matter what your condition is. When you get to the hospital, the first thing they take is the vitals. Because when they get the vitals, they would even know your state as a person. Because they first of all need to interact with you as a human before they interact with the disease they are looking for. Do you get what I'm saying? And what the vitals reveal will indicate, all right, the direction they may have to look at. Because when the ailments come, they tamper with the vitals. Do you get what I mean? So when they see that in taking your vital science, so and so is missing, they can know. Do you get what I mean? Ah, Shay, I see you. Are you all together? Where are they? Glory to God. We see. Wave now. Glory to God. So you take the vitals. So face in a chicken place. So here's the deal. When she comes forward, the first thing you want to check in her life. Let me say this before I begin to get into the things I really want to say. I hope my scripture guys are ready. Now, she's single at the moment, right? The way you smile, you think I'll do to you what I did to God's way. No, don't worry. I will not do it to you. All right, let me just do my illustration. This is where a lot of children of the Lord miss the point. Paul says, henceforth, know we not man after the flesh. They are not putting time. I will stay at midnight. 45 minutes from this point. Are you single? Please come. 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 Thank you. Just line up. Vital science in the spirit says to you they are not single for the same reason. They are not single for the same reason. Are you married? Yeah, come on. <laughs> Can I? Are you married? Come out. Shay, are you married? Come out. <laughs> when you take the vital signs, the problem with this bunch is that they generalize what they call their problem. So, if she's single at an age where she was married, she uses her for a standard of depression because she's missing the vital signs. Her mother begins to cry out for a grandchild like her destiny is summarized in giving a grandchild to somebody. The vital science is missing once she embraces that pressure. Let's even leave the external factors. In this place, their reason for being single under God is not the same. So the journey to marriage for them ought to be a journey of Lord, how, when, Based on God's dealing with them as individuals, not as a congregation. So when we deal with dating, courtship, and marriage, and we're talking about the vitals, you don't go to the hospital and they ask you for the vitals of your mother. So the problem is very often, we don't walk out of the line to be examined for us. Lord, what's my journey like with you? So before you know it, she may turn this way. Oh, he's dating. I'm not. Oh, she just put her ring on Facebook. Oh, I just saw her wedding card. You know what's happening? She's taking vitals from circumstance, not from her dealing. And that's why, let me say this to you. Every time I do not take vitals from my dealings with the Lord, I get distracted. And every time I get distracted, I lose track. Distraction. Distract. 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 All right? So take her off the track. Take her off the track. Paul says, I can't win the prize if I don't run lawfully. There's a lane. Have you ever seen a race? That happened a lot when we were in secondary school. 
where somebody is so fast but on the wrong lane. So he gets to the finish line and the games master said, no, you can't win. How can't I win? I got here first. No, it's not about getting here first. It's that you lost track. There's a place you were supposed to run. That's where they came to Jesus, sir, and said, who sinned that this guy was born this way? Jesus looked at them and said, how are you so foolish that you think that his situation is circumstantial? He said, no, nobody sinned. They were confused. Why? At that point, they had equated sin as the main thing that must cause a problem. And that that sin must have generational, <laughs> you get what I'm saying, Africa. <laughs> it must be father's fault, mother's fault, auntie's fault. You are looking for who to give forth for what God just wants to take glory from. God just wants to hold you high and say, you know that daughter of mine, she got to 35 unperturbed. <laughs> How can heaven be so mean? How can heaven be so mean? How can, how, how can, see, let me tell you the truth. Every time you walk in faith, you confuse men, men. Yes. Why are you so comfortable? Something is wrong with you. Time is moving. Time is going. Vital science. What do you want of me? Oh, somebody posted something a few days ago. And I was just laughing. Anna wanted a son. God wanted a prophet. Yeah. <laughs> Very simple. Everybody has an interest. <laughs> what am I doing to the interest of the Lord? <laughs> In this thing I am wanting, what's the vital signs of what you want? What are you looking for with my circumstance? Because a lot of times, see, let me tell you this. Until you judge your circumstance right, you won't take the right steps. That's why hey, I wrote something some days ago. Some people, some people didn't like me. I said, I am praying for some singles to remain single for now in Jesus' name. Somebody say, how mean is this? It's not mean. I pray again. There are some singles. God wants them single in 2023. All those prayers God said to me, seed, said to me, the seed will not be received. We will just use your money. Nothing will happen this year. You will remain single. Vital signs. <laughs> Some people just felt like walking away. I came to this sit out to be released. You are still binding me. You are bound for one more year in Jesus' name. For that person that you won't vital signs from God, say, hold on. Put the brakes. Put the brakes. Your desire. Do you know when you go to the hospital, Noella? When they are taking vital signs, it's not what you desire, it's what they see. Yes. You may be there. I just wish I would be fine. Hey, what are we seeing? At that point, it's not wishes. It's what are we finding? So when I go in God, sorry, I'm keeping you guys standing because there are one, two, three, four, five, six vital sciences here. The blood composition, body temperature, and all of that is not the same. So the problem of the believer is generalization. Bless me like you bless Pena. Give me children also. Also. Ah, worship leaders. The Lord dropped a thought in my heart some time ago. So let me just share this. And people who do opening prayer. It's one wicked prayer. I've been praying the body of Christ. Let's stop it. Give God praise. You are not in the mortuary. Some people are in the mortuary. It's their time. Even God is happy they are home. Comparative giving God praise. Can we focus on God and thank God for God? Some people, some people had accident. I want to thank God. I did not have accident. But some of the people that had accident are inside the same church. They are just wondering, God must be so wicked indeed. Me, I had accident. You did not have accident. Some people have not found what to eat. Some people actually came here. They have not eaten, no. They have not leave comparative prayer alone. Lord, we want to thank you for life. We want to thank you for provision. Don't thank him. Don't compare with another person. Yes. If I heard one, I'm like, this person just missed it. Because the congregation was so large, there was a chance there was somebody who was crippled there. And he was talking about, you know, he's standing on his, you are standing on your two feet. He was sounding like the entire congregation were okay with their feet. So the problem in the body is generalization. A lot of women don't want to have children because God wants to make them mothers. They want to have children to answer somebody. I faced massive pressure yesterday from somebody. 
can I just get uh, this artificial something, something, something? Husband is acting up. The marriage is not stable. Blah, blah, blah. I am this. I say, what is God saying? She will give me more, much reason. I say, what is God saying? She will give me reason, 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 reason. She has a lot, a lot, lot of love to give. What is God saying? She gave me thousands of reasons. Just yesterday, I said, what is God saying? What's your vital science? It's different from yours, yours, and yours, and yours, and yours. People don't get it. So let me allow you to go. Let me go and focus on those people. Just go, 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 go. Thank you. God bless you. So, okay, so you come to these people. Ooh. Two lawyers, one non-lawyer. Lawyer by association, by marriage. It's vital science. Hey. Hey. Do you realize that comparison never ends? It's what age you marry. What age you stop having children? How many children you have? Which school did they go to? You know what happens? Look at this drama. Just turn at this guy. Turn fully. When this guy is facing here, he cannot see here. And this is his part. A lot of times we spend our whole lives chasing a target God did not give. Who traveled abroad? Whose sons are schooling in UK? But this person even forget that those sons that are schooling in UK are returning as gay. If your children attend the school you can afford, not the school the Lord commanded, you have failed. Because people put their children to schools that show their social class. But it's not about social class. When Jesus stopped by the well, he had to go through the well because there was a woman to meet at the well. His life was so intentional, he learned to cut destruction. The food he sent for the brought in, and he told them, my meat at this hour is to do the will of him that sent me because my food need in the physical just got suspended because I got in purpose. That's why men have their worth today in their bank account. So they come home. Once money is low, a monster is born. You are incapable of being romantic when you are led by circumstance. That means my wife will receive different versions of me depending on my pocket. No consistency. But the greatest quality of God is that he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. So how are we his children? And we are doing like a million. Circumstantially determined. Why? We don't get the vitals. Ah! Do I walk through the waters? Do I walk through the fire? It will not consume me. Why won't it consume me? Because I'm consistent. I'm not determined by the circumstances. So when you come here, you can now turn again. For each of the family represented here, God has a distinct plan. The plan is not the same. The plan of when to marry, how many children to have, when to have the children, and all of, nothing is the same here. Nothing. So until we begin to understand our difference while being together as a spiritual family, Ah, that's why they came. Prophet like this came, carried his giddu. I said, whoever has this giddu, they will bind him. He said, let's go. For binding, I was called. So he did not say, ah, oh, brother, let's begin to pray. All the binding spirit he wrote, we bind it. No. Why? Because he knew, vital science, that my own calling would take me before kings they will bind me, but I will bind the spirit in them with the gospel in me. That's right. He got the vital signs right. So the prophet wasn't speaking to deter. The prophet was speaking to foretell events that must happen. Uh, that's why that man was sailing. And the boat was crashing. A prisoner gave hope to his captors. Don't be afraid. This boat is going, but we shall be alive. When they got on the island of Patmos, yeah? Is it Patmos? No, no. That, um, that one is John. Morta! We need to go to Morta and test those snakes. If they are still vital. <laughs> you can say. Snake fasting to him. They say, ah, this guy must be cursed. It was not a curse. It was a part. So, one challenge just hits this man. Bim! Hey! 
See the way they challenge you, see to him. Then instead of him to focus on the vital signs, where is this coming from? See what he does next. Hi, and Kenya is so fine. Maybe my prayer life is down. Maybe I'm not fasting well enough. Maybe I'm not as faithful. He had just missed the vital signs. What if God is saying, no man sinned here but for my glory? Satan was ready and he said towards you, and I crossed my leg and said, That's my son, Shay. He will deal with you. But what happened? He just turned. He made what is not the standard the standard. Vital signs. Thank you, guys. So when it comes to dating, courtship, relationship, marriage, all the faces of relationship, the first thing we need to know is what is the vital science of this journey. What is the Lord saying? What path is he leading me to? What exactly is he instructing and directing? Until we get that. I thought to mention that from the last teaching I was doing about the call. But here's the deal. I'm going to give one particular one tonight. So I'll be speaking to the men and instructing the ladies. There is a voice God has given man male that was not given to female when it comes to the context of marriage. I'll show you that voice through scripture. So you know the mistake that happens? A lot of ladies are dating and getting married to men who don't have that voice. Like we spoke of vital signs. When something is missing, it is missing. So somebody was using faithfulness to almost kill herself in my sister's house a few days ago. That faithfulness, I don't like that kind of faithfulness. Thank God their three-year-old was smart enough to say, auntie's not moving. She dropped she, she was going. It was like joke. In fact, the mother thought, yeah, you have come again. You know children talk. But she decided to go check. That's how they rushed to the hospital. She had shown up about 9 or 19 times the day before. Talk. You didn't talk. You are not well. Talk. Open your mouth. You didn't. You managed yourself. You were not eating. She was about to leave for work. Something was missing in her body. People think relationship works in a magical way. It's not true. Even you, Noella, if you know it for seven days, it will show first of all in your eye. Your eye will go deeper than this my Chinese eye. <laughs> it will just be going. You think I cannot travel. You see your eye traveling backward. <laughs> you start seeing people and wondering, <laughs> Julia, is that you? I see men as trees. <laughs> Have you ever seen somebody <laughs> under influence of hunger? I have done some fasting in life. I have to eat before I pray because the fasting, the fasting collected my prayer capacity. So I said, God, I have fasted unto you. My body, I need food so that I can pray. <laughs> have you fasted to the point where you, you knelt down to pray? You slept three hours. Woke up and broke your fast. <laughs> and Jennifer walked to the Lord and was not. <laughs> For God had taken her. <laughs> I was not. <laughs> Just like the body needs certain things, there is a voice God gave man. Man male. He tested him first by naming the animals. Eve never did that job. Never. There's an authority he put on his tongue. Like I began to say in the last sit out, number one, that authority defines his very wife. So when a man comes around you, or the role of the man, even in the marriage, is what definition is he giving the wife? So you see people dating people who can't define anything good. The only thing it does, you people think you are besties, Mumu. Idiot. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> I think you are woke. You are not woke. You are woken. <laughs> you are woken. Pay attention to what he says because there's a definition on his tongue. Number two, God gave him an authority to wield against the wicked one. So if his speaking cannot stop the enemy at the gate, he's not man enough. I'm going to repeat that. If his speaking 
cannot stop the enemy at the gate. He's not man enough. Let me tell you the failure of Adam. If you read Genesis 3, the question that would plague your mind is where was Adam when Eve spoke to the serpent? Where was Adam when Eve? That's why in the issues of authority, God visits him for the home. And I'm going to prove it to you. Genesis 1, 26 to 28. God made man in his image. Male and female created he them. Genesis 2, 18. It's not good for man to be alone. He first manifested Adam, the male. Guess what? Read your Bible. When he instructed Adam about the tree of the knowledge of uh, good and evil, Eve was not yet manifested on the earth. Adam was the only one on earth when the instruction was given. Adam was supposed to be teacher. Time will fail me. Thank God I'm teaching a series. I will explain to you the failing of the teaching man. He couldn't turn and show the curriculum. This is the brochure that God gave concerning this family. He couldn't. So you know what? When the serpent came, guess what? He used questions and answers to expose the ignorance of Eve. I'm a lawyer. Why do we use cross-examination to get the veracity of the truth of a witness statement? Because in the process of questioning, you can test the authenticity of a testimony. So Satan came with cross-examination. And I love the way one legal author defines it. He said to cross and examine. He began, because when you get questions, let me tell you the truth. If I ask you a thousand times, are you sure your name is Noella? The answer would be yes, because it's a knowing that is deeper than head knowledge. It's inside. But the moment I begin to cross and examine certain things, for instance, yesterday I was doing something for my sister, and I thought I had gotten my, it, it failed so many times that um, the card number got it in my head. So when it began to work, I thought I had gotten it well. Guess what? The moment I turned to do it, my confusion was, is it first five or six? The knowing was not deep. The card, rather, the portal asked me a question that I needed to go back to the card. Adam was Eve's card, but when she turned, Adam was missing. Do you know why women are addicted to prophets? Not this type of prophet, too. <laughs> Their prophecy is very different. Those ones that used to come and sleep in people's houses and lie to them. I collect seed that were not meant to be collected. Once slept in my father's house, I started placing cause on things when we were younger in Makodi. He would put a malt in the fridge and put a cause on anybody that drink this malt in my father's house. I suffered it. Prophet downgraded himself. He reached a point, started washing my father's car. Because his problem was more of accommodation problem than a spiritual problem. He made a house to stay. So when we uncovered him, he became houseboy. I challenged him. 2008, he said, I will not see the end of the year. I guess this 2023, I'm not dead. <laughs> Which end of year? And guess what? One day I was going to Makodi. I had moved to Abuja. I drove around Nyanya. He was in three-piece suit, sweating profusely. I said, you have not started. <laughs> My brother, your sweat has not started. Your sweat has not started. You will sweat in this life. Liar. Prophet liars. Just go to Rig Nation, Abuja. Let them give you the real prophet and wash your head. Why do you think even a spiritual woman chases all these false guys today? Because she's wired to seek an authoritative voice over her life. If your wife depends on the voice of a prophet above your voice, your voice is weak. She turned, where is my Adam? There are two possible theories from scripture. Number one, Adam was on a walkabout. He went to watch Chelsea versus Real Madrid. His problem now is Chelsea. His problem in life is Chelsea. Or the war in Ukraine. That's his problem now. The other theory, apart from Adam taking a year walk, is that Adam was there but kept quiet. Why? When she ate the fruit, the Bible says she turned and gave her husband who was with her also. Ah! There are things that diplomacy does not solve. If this woman stand up today that she wants to go to a mountain in this Abuja, we will wear the same trouser. You are not going to no mountain. I will not keep quiet over matters of government. It's not romantic to keep quiet when I should be commanding her. Hey, you know, 
Gen Z and feminist movement. Let me tell you, I am the commander here. If he's paining you, stand up and go. Don't even sow seed. Go! I am the commander in this house. Ah! I have entered somewhere. Why? My command does not issue from flesh. It issues from above. God gave me the command and gave me his spirit because I will never abuse it if I focus on his spirit. My dear, you're under command. Stand up. Go there. Come back. Run. Walk. Hands up. Hands down. Go and sit down. Straight. Straight. Some people will now cut this clip and put it. See, they have started. You see? That's how they are destroying homes. That's how they are destroying homes. I put one post today, and it was from last month's teachings uh, from the sit out. One guy, at, he tackled me, tackled me, tackled me. I tackled him back. After he just gave up and praised me, I said, Good. I say, One traditional wife, we traditional wife. Don't be romantic, my friend. They are saying I do like this. You, you, know, you know how much it's costing me to get this obedience? <laughs> you know how much it's costing me to get this obedience? <laughs> I'm making this obedience easy. I'm funding the obedience. <laughs> I'm funding it. <laughs> I'm bankrolling it. My God. <laughs> There's an authority he must wield. So when we tell ladies that it should be spiritual, let me tell you, don't marry a well-funded fool. The Bible says a fool says in his heart there's no God. I don't care how much he has. He's still debating over the Holy Spirit or no Holy Spirit. He's still debating whether there's God or not. He's a fool. Let me tell you, every shawarma they used to buy fades away. Ice cream becomes hot cream. I'm telling you in no time. Why? The most valuable thing a man brings when it comes to you is the authority he in the spirit. Authority. Because the devils that will come against your life, I know lie. See, I'm telling you, if I for some of you, the devils you already came with from your family village, they need authority. You and my grain have been struggling for 30 years. You need authority. Shaoma cannot take it away. Ice cream, ice cream, ice cream. I don't even know what people are looking for in ice cream. This, people just mix egg and all that thing and just put it in the fridge. They are happy. They are just drinking calories. When it stands in front of you, time is failing me to enter scripture, but I'll just be referring to them. When you read Luke 1 from 57, Hey, guess what? That's why when Zacharias began to miss Ian before the angel, the angel kept him short. Why? His authority was too strong. He could thwart the will of God. The will of God was in his speaking, so they locked his mouth. How come and scatter what God wants to do? The Messiah is waiting at the door of eternity to come into earth, and you want to stop the one who announced it. Zechariah, keep quiet. So the angel looked at him to the face and said, I am Gabriel. I stand before the Lord. Ah, Gabriel announced where he stood because he needed to shut him up. His authority was too big. If they allowed him, he would have thwarted John. Let me tell you how powerful that authority was. When the boy was born, they said, let's call him Zacharias after his father. When people begin to name things in your family, it's because you are not naming them yourself. So the cousins and the family said, since in Papa no fit talk, call him Zechariah. But God be praised for Elizabeth, who said, no, this guy has, and here's the deal, I'll talk about this another time. When God begins to anoint the woman of the house, it's a proof of the failure of the man. I will explain his anointing. She has an anointing. But her anointing is not to command the affairs of the home. And I'll show you. Guess what? But she was in the spirit since he was dumb. She declared the will of God. And when they went to him and he put pen to paper, he confirmed before they agreed that that was the name. Elizabeth's voice was too weak to name. Go and read your Bible. It's at the point he wrote. And guess what? Because he also aligned with the spirit. God losing his tongue that minute. Authority. I'll give you some more scripture if you think I'm joking. That's why Satan's number one target is to make men a fulefu. Ask a Benway man, what a useless man in the spirit. 
Why do you think more men are into drinking than women? A fullerful spirit. Why do you think he weaponizes beautiful girls to attack you? Useless him. Why, if I go for the authority, I weaken the system. Men are leading in everything, including addiction. Everything. Because when you strike the shepherd, that's all. You get it? I'll give you another example from scripture. Of the voice of authority is given the man. When Jacob, when Esau was told by his father, Isaac, <laughs> go and make me this thing. Let me work it and bless you. The mother favored Jacob, but the mother didn't have the voice to pass the inheritance. <laughs> the mother favored him, but the mother could not do. Do you now see why it's a demonic sponsorship when people are proud of their praying mom, but they are missing fathers? <laughs> Satan doesn't mind when the lieutenant is the one contending where the general should have stood. So to us, it was impressive. But in the realm of the spirit, a transaction was below the mark. So the woman is hustling, trying, 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 and trying, and trying. And the first thing they ask is, where is your general? And she can't answer. He's watching Chelsea. He's drunk. He's with the boys. He doesn't see church as worth it. Go to any congregation in the world, we have more women. Because a lie is told the man. And guess what? Military authority flows. That's why that centurion stood before Jesus and said, I'm a man under authority. He was so highly placed, but he didn't speak about his place. He spoke about the authority he is under. So you know what the devil is doing? He takes men away from the authority they are under. To weaken the system. So you have rise of false prophets. Everywhere. You have women praying for the restoration of their husbands. Go to everywhere people call the name of Jesus. One of the top prayer points. Go to counseling sessions. One of the top counseling points are women looking for their missing men. Satan weaponizes this thing so badly that we have created a category of beggarly women. The man is so useless, but she's holding on and just begging to have a marriage. So she's not negotiating at the realm of his authority. She's just negotiating for the crumbs that he is. Let him just come home. I will still accept him. Let him just, let him just, let him just, let him just. But here are seated men who should acquit themselves differently. If my wife keeps the gates of the family, I'm failing. So I cross my leg, useless myself. Then every time she'll be the one to see a vision and come and warn us. Ah ah. Ah ah. Ah ah. All over the world today is the impact of the failure of men. Impact. So I speak to you, single ladies. <laughs> be careful what you watch out for. Thor that can handsome does not cut it when demons are roaming free. Not just roaming free around his vicinity, roaming free in his, himself. He himself, he's, he's playing with demons and romancing them. That's why your greatest security is not his account on earth. It's his account in the spirit. Especially in a confused generation where false doctrine abound, you better choose a teacher with an authority in your home. I'll never forget when we were in university and my fellowship brought this strange woman. I don't know where they got her from. She prophet lied that night, all through the night. Pro prophet lie and prophet lie and prophet lie and prophet lie, prophet lie and prophet lie. Then my innocent girlfriend then came to me and said, Baby, don't you think we need to pray about it? I said, I'm praying about nothing. 
She looked at me. She was so disappointed. How can this man be so arrogant against the move of God? I said, that's not the move of God. And she looked at me like Jesus Christ. And that's right. You girls are so vulnerable. You have so useless seeds you should never sow. You are looking at me. You know yourself. I'll never forget, for instance, somebody shared a testimony. This very ministry. She came to us and said, the Lord had instructed her to sow a seed. It was about getting married. I didn't ask her to sow the seed. And I'm, who am I to question when God speaks to you? So I collected it, all right? Okay, she sent it. It was an um, electronic conversation. And I said, the blessing, the Lord be with you. The Lord bring to pass your heart desire. Because she said, the Lord said. So I shared the testimony just like I just did. Then somebody reaches out to me. I want to sow the marital really seed. I said, there's nothing like that. I needed the money, but I didn't need the lie. I said, there's no seed by that name. She was so disappointed. Let me tell you why I knew God didn't send her. The moment I resisted her, she didn't sow the seed. She's married today without my collecting her money. I would prefer she gives me money because I'm going to Ghana. <laughs> That's right. it's, I don't used to lie. In case somebody here is being moved, me and Julia's ticket is 750000 economy. Just two of us to Ghana. Ghana. One hour for five minutes. If you are touched, bring it. And there's a blessing for the giver without Mago Mago. I will say the blessing. God bless you. You can't send me to do his work and you know answer. You finish. Principle. No, I can't lie to you. I told her there's nothing like the marital release seed. Carry your money and go. And she went with her money. Holy Spirit is even blowing, blowing the breeze now for us. If you don't like this, give us more money. So that I can put something behind us. Do you get what I'm saying? I, I get what I'm saying. So it's so important. Why? Oh, your heart is so soft, it can be misled. So God intends to raise a man whose heart is as strong as the heart of the Holy Spirit. Let me tell you, authority is not emotional. Shagun, please come. Let me use it for example. Some of you are not here when I spoke about Shagun. Shagun is a very faithful member of r &M. Very, very faithful. Shagun has been in the Middle East, posted. He's a military man. Um, one year plus now. You know, he still got some time. Shagun's posting came out two days, yeah? Two days after his wife just gave birth to their first child. And after you guys were moved, <laughs> you spent some time in Abuja, but you couldn't leave where you were because he was under authority. Authority is not emotional. So with the kind of emotion you carry as a babe, he wants to put such a structure around you that can listen for the voice of God and stand and say, my dear wife, I love you, but this is the way. You know, that's why emotional people started, Bishop Oedipus, why I shared her own testimony. Somebody thinks she's celebrity enough to start fighting what the Lord is doing. You know, some people are so foolish through emotions. A man came home. His own wife said, I saw blood, and doctors say, what's they give my dinner? The blood that they supposedly saw is now standing and preaching gospel that is something years later. Then you, you are sitting there because they used two movies to give you a little fame. You think that that man is your mate to go and start attacking when he wielded authority. I will not forget those days that I read some book. I don't attend living faith. I'm talking kingdom. So don't say, ah, is this a branch of living faith? No. I will not forget one of those days I read a book and this Testimony is shared. Back in the day, Bishop in Kaduna, a man died in a pickup van near the church and he was smelling. And after some time, they told Bishop, he walked to the pickup van, didn't look at the pickup van, did like this and said, follow me. Went to sit in his office and the man was standing in front of him. Excuse me, authority. He didn't need to look. He didn't say, when did you die? Why are you smelling? He hit the van and said, follow me. Went to his office, sat down waiting for the man and the man walked there. Is your wife not missing you? Nigeria army no concern themselves. What do you concern them? Two days after. Shouldn't they have excluded the people whose wives were pregnant? That means, you know what every military man will do? They'll just marry and pregnant their wife. Before they win the child, pregnant again. I'm pregnant again. I'm pregnant again. No posting anywhere. I was sitting in the office. But they will not answer that. Should I even have brought this man up? Please go, go. Thank you. Do you get what I'm saying? But guess what? So I'm going to give you the trick. 
So let's give the single people to trick. If you are married, my hair, I'm just showing you the offices you occupy. And we are just weighing how much we have failed. So you are so excited. You wake up in the night and your wife is tearing prayer. Wow. Sleeping giant. <laughs> Dead lion. Dead lion. That a living dog is better than. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> then you sit amongst your friends. My wife is a prayer. She's a prayo. You are a mumu. <laughs> your wife is a prayo. Well done. Oshe. Boaster. They are talking village people. You are fidgeting. Woman married you to be man. You entered marriage, became woman. Then woman became man. Say, my husband, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. <laughs> don't be afraid. Every <laughs> level. <laughs> Let me tell you the trick, young ladies. Satan would often arrange an efulefu who knows how to turn you on emotionally. So while you are excited, you are forgetting authority. Especially those of you from Nigeria with wicked culture. You better marry somebody that knows where he's going to. Because the days that culture will ask him a demonic question, he should have a spiritual answer. I'll give you the story of somebody you may not know. Some of you know Enenche the Comedian. Elder brother, Pastor Matthew. <laughs> a trend was happening in their family. People were dying at a certain time in a certain way. Oh, yeah. Right in Benway there. <laughs> there was a forest termed evil. Pastor Matthew took his light at the nudging of the spirit and entered in the night and spent the night in the forest called evil. They thought they would not see him in the morning. <laughs> Please, I didn't tell you to stand up and carry emotion. You will just be, you will just see obituary, you are dead. <laughs> because faith matters are faith matters. So a man should know where he stands and stand well. He went. I won't lie to you till date. I don't know why he did. I won't. My understanding is very different from my bedroom. I will speak to you. You are dead. You are dead. But guess what? With all I just said, if a nudging come in the spirit, so we go. He went and spent the night. Kayaba, Lukopele. He stopped the trend in the whole family. He ended it. Because he took a stand. I, I believe God gave him that instruction to tell everybody who's afraid that that's just normal bush and trees. A man with authority went there. When Satan comes against your children, what will, where will, will your voice be? When Satan comes against your family, where would your voice be? My wife is a prayer warrior. I don't say this boastfully. I've never said it in public. My wife knows about this story. But it taught me the power of the voice. When my mom died, some people played very funny tricks on us. They stood at her barrier and made us promises that were all lies. People from the place where she walked. When we asked... Something funny happened. I never told this story in public. Something very funny happened. As my mom died, I took the death certificate and wrote to her place of work, the government office, and told them she's late. I don't need to steal from you guys. I don't, I don't need your salary to keep getting in. God so kind, she still had a valid card. For a couple of months, the salary was still running. It's government's problem, not my business. I gave you notice of death within five days. All the people that made the promises... When it came to time to ask for a normal benefit, change, we applied. Then the drama happened. A few weeks after applying, somebody calls me who had made promises at my mother's burial beside her grave. I said, you know, because of auditing and accounting and all those things, blah, 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 blah. Number one, check was supposed to be issued in my name. They collected the money by whatever means and deducted all the month salary was entering that they will return it to government account. You know, that's a lie. This transaction happened about September and sent me the balance from his account. I didn't know when I turned to my wife and said, 
All these people too will die. Somebody called me in December who was very close to my mom and said, ah, oh, this man died oh, three months. This man too will die. I didn't say it to curse. I didn't even say it with anger. I just turned to my wife to, to state a fact. I didn't know his transaction was settled. Unfortunately, somebody would go and process his own too. September to December. This man too will die. He <laughs> his family will look for money. God, I didn't even need the money. Mm. But why lie such a lie? I turned to my wife and I said, oh my God, I regret. It would take me getting to heaven to know what part I played or didn't play. But it just occurred to me. Watch it. That's why I've taught severally. One of the principles I've imbibed when anger is happening here is to keep quiet because authority resides here. Don't kill your spouse. Don't open your mouth and wound them in life. Keep quiet. Tame your words before you issue them. A lot of men don't know this. Do you now see why Satan weaponizes husbands against wives? Because the easiest way to tamper with the progress of a wife is to put a man over her who cannot speak the blessing. But guess what? If you want to see a woman unleashed, put a man that understands his authority. Sometimes she wakes up to see, sometimes she doesn't. But I have a culture of laying hands on my wife in the night when she's sleeping and speaking life. Because the life in her answers to the words that I speak. So please, value what the man brings before you embrace him. So dating is not about who speaks the best words, who makes the best promises. In the world of men, promises are meant to be broken. Can I tell you the truth? In the world of men, people break. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check your Nigerian politicians. I know one dollar is not equal to one naira right now. But it's been there for eight years. And he's still your excellency. <laughs> he's the excellent in the word of men. Guard this place, my brother. So to single men also, when you stand before a woman, what you should demonstrate is your authority. Let me say this in closing. I'll continue the teaching in May. Then from May, we'll start answering questions. So we'll structure the program in the way I can teach and answer questions. That is why the man Jesus brings authority to his church as the husband of the church. His bride is not suffering because of his authority. Let me tell you the truth. The level of spiritual activity flying over your head, if Jesus is not Lord, will be dead. You can't see the transactions that happen on you every day because there's a husband man interceding for you. When the motions happen in the realm of the spirit, what would your man be doing? The man you want to choose. When the motions happen in the realm of the spirit and the negotiation comes for my wife, for my children, for my destiny, would there be a voice that will stand and say, not here. Satan, not now. Not here. You are my Yahweh. My Yahweh. My helper. My helper. You You are my Kale Brambo Shibanda Kayem Brado Sibrando do Boshela Branda. You are my helper, Gabandita. My helper, my helper. Lord, you are my helper. Sing on that song as we trust the Lord tonight.
speaking about you. You need to first of all come into the kingdom. If you are here, you have walked away from the Lord because he will never leave you. I want to say, you know, in this kind of meeting tonight, me, I want to carry my life as say Jesus collect it. Mm -hmm. Enough of my... Let's just have our heads bowed. Make it easy for everybody to... If you're in that place, please just wave your hand at me. If you're in any of those two places. After that, I'm going to pray. We just spoke about authority. I'm going to wield authority here on diseases, on circumstances. As you release your faith and I stand in my office, I'll wield authority. But is there anybody in that can just raise your hand boldly? We don't want to miss such a moment. Thank you, my brother. I see that hand. Thank you, my sister. I see that hand. Any other person? Three, I see that hand. Thank you. Thank you, I see that hand. Thank you, I see that hand. I'm going to lead you to say a simple prayer. Please do not leave without giving us your details today. Any other person joining this? It's time to change the narrative. That's the truth. Just say after me, dear Lord Jesus, I yield my life to you. I receive you now as my Lord and Savior. Take full control of my life and turn my life in the direction of your will for me. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I receive in Jesus' name. Thank you for that. I will see you after, once we close. All right? Um, Caleb, Joseph, they are right there with r and shirts at the back. Um, just make sure we, we, we see you. Now, here's the simple thing we are going to do. The might of the Lord is here. We've been speaking about his authority, his might. We just described it in the sense he gave the husband, the office of the husband. I stand in my office, anointed here, right now, tonight, in God's presence, able to wield authority. Now, I'm going to read authority over something very simple. Anything not planted by our father. Some you know, some you don't know. That's the truth. For the one you know, what you do now, as we sing that song about three times before I speak in authority, is you consciously declare them subjected to the authority here. For the ones we don't know, we are not called to know everything. There are things he has taken care of. You will simply say, I yield everything to you, Lord Jesus. Because anything not planted by our Father we will uproot it by the authority in this room. And that authority is in the name. It's not in any man. We're only declaring it. So let's sing helper. We'll do that about three times. Then I'll speak in that authority in agreement with what you are declaring right now. Go ahead. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Shabam baralia. You 
authority of your name every circumstance every ailment every disease every orchestration of hell that our father has not planted gathered here today as your family and in the name a wield authority. Satan sees in all your maneuvers. I command a turnaround of that circumstance. Turnaround of that health condition. In the name of Jesus. I command a quick walk. I command miracles. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Don't try to get emotional about this. Just receive it through faith. Don't look for a feeling. Just receive it through faith. Don't look for an emotion. Just receive it through faith. <laughs> deep things, deep things, deep things. Shabang la sufranda la skamban di fanda la breda skandaya. If lengra dos kifanti prande leke zendea. Ulankra za livra kafan su celebrande askataya. Even for those of you watching online, there's no distance in the spirit. I speak by the authority of the name. Iblangra kra sufram bla braf landro balash kile brandia. Uskanga langra dos kipranda di ata. For one, the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion were like they that dreamed. We don't come in our name, but in the name that is above every other name. For he would do quickly things that men would have required time to do. Alangra kosivra flembra vlangro salabrand. Ushkapa Valakra Sukar Banda de Ascalabra, Evlandre Ascabra, Blushka Bambra, Fiescata, Ebrandele Cascabra do Cafale, Catosca, Baleta, 
Askanta brafle kasuta bandiata. Iblangra tushala. For your help is in the name of the Lord. Elabra gosha kafalia tusha tandia. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Give him praise. Give him glory. Give him praise. Give him glory. Give him praise. Give him glory. Kabambareyas kaba. Shibareyata. Shibandorodoshkiaba. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'll say the blessing over all our team members. Please rise if you're here. All our team members serving any capacity. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit. Lord, water them in your way. They have given and they continue to give. They continue to pour out and to serve. Lord, they have not done this unto man. They have done this to you. Lord, I stand in the authority of the office you have conferred on me and the privilege to serve in this capacity. And I speak the blessing. No man can curse these ones. No man can curse these ones. And no curse of any nature can operate in their life. First because they are you and next because I spoke so under this grace that they believed in to serve. And I speak the blessing. Reward them in this life and the age to come. Confound them that th things that money cannot buy in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. We give you glory. And Lord, we also pray concerning every giving before now to us today or this season. And even that will be given tonight, I speak the blessing. As I give into your work, Lord, confer the blessing that comes to the one who gives. In the name of Jesus, we give you praise, our Father. We give you glory. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, two things quickly. Thank you, guys. Thank you. God bless you. Meanwhile, you can also join our workforce. We like more. The more, the merrier. We can do more together. So quickly, you meet Kenneth for men only or for joining the trip to Ghana. Um, we're supposed to have account number there. So if you're leaving, you can actually drop for, uh, money with our guys at the exit point. You can um, make transfers. We are glad to receive. Like I said to you, we have work to do with money. Um, for the guys who took up their hands and I prayed with you, the decision prayer. It's important for us to speak with you. Summarily, um, what we do, what we do summarily, we want to be in, in touch with you. We also want to know if you're in a believing, Bible believing church where you are planted. Oh, beautiful. If you're not, we can make, uh, we can prayerfully suggest to you uh, where you could be. Um, but it's important we make that contact. Um, that's basically why people are even to, to come out, just to be able to take the conversation. If not from where you are, you and God have sorted the problem, but there's, there's, there's a future ahead, there's a purpose to fulfill. Praise God. Uh, we're glad you're here. 12th of May is our next sit out. Um, clap, 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 clap. Uh, 12th of May is the next sit out. Um, so I, I, would, I would take the teaching further on this conversation, but from May, we'll be able to have questions um, asked. We did that, I think that was February. We'll go back to uh, teach and answer questions so that we have community.